What's up everybody, it's Chad with Charleston Car Videos. Tonight's video is special because we're gonna be taking a look at the 2017 Golf R at night. So we're gonna be checking out the lighting on this vehicle. And uh, if you don't know a whole lot about the Golf R, this is Volkswagen's uh, sporty four-door hatchback vehicle with almost 300 horsepower. It's got a ton of power, all-wheel drive. It's an amazing vehicle. And I've had it over the weekend to check it out, test drive it, and all that kind of stuff. And I wanted tonight, before I drop it back off at the dealership tomorrow, to show y'all the lighting on this car. It really is good. So let's get started. All right, everybody, so here is the Golf R. Wow, I know a lot of y'all drool over this vehicle. I mean, it is an amazing car. You know, it's a $40,000 vehicle. I think the window sticker on this one is around 41 grand. So it's definitely not a cheap vehicle, but let me tell you, the Volkswagen Golf R has got a lot of amazing technology on it, and it really is a car slash crotch rocket right i mean it's like it's fast i mean it really is I just took the kids out for a test drive a minute ago uh, down the old back roads here and let me tell you it really had my kids laughing and having fun just like any car should really do right i mean i'm like make sure you stay planted in your seat grab that handle on the side of the door guys because you're gonna have to hold on going around some of these turns because the all-wheel drive system on the golf r i mean it really does make you feel like you're driving a small little race car it just has that feel about it and it's probably worth every penny of what the manufacturer says on the window sticker there for the price tag but um, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now there's no lighting on at all just kind of wanted to show you what the vehicle looked like and uh, it's a good looking car it really is I wanted to film it just before it gets any darker than this because uh, I did a Beetle review on the Doom Beetle uh, last week at night out here and uh, it was just way too dark and uh, I mean we really weren't able to see anything on the vehicle other than the lighting. So it is nice to be able to see the car a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and cut the lights on and get this party started. Alright, so one nice thing about the Golf R when you open up the door, right? You got this going on here. Now, it may be a little tough to see some of these colors right now, but you got a really nice blue light right in there. Volkswagen does such a nice job of illuminating things and stuff like that. Also, on your door panel here, you can see got that little light bar going right there, which looks good. And then your interior lighting is LED, and that's why it has more of a white, more of a pure kind of color to it instead of that off-white color that I really just can't stand on uh, interior lighting. As you can see, LED lights right up there. Let's go ahead and hop in, get her cranked up, and see what's going on. So, you know, this car, it's got a smart key, right? So you don't have to put it in the ignition, but there still is a little button right there where you can get that key just like that, okay? So it's still got that going on, but again, it's a smart key. The key's got the little R logo on it right there. It's a little tough to see, but there's a little R right there, which uh, indicates that you're driving an R, okay? So that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and crank the car, put your foot on the brake. And she's alive. Now, uh, before that logo came up, it did have a little Volkswagen logo right there. It looked kind of cool. This lights up really nice as well. And uh, But right now, we're going to look at the interior in just a minute. Let's go outside and take a look at the exterior. Because that's what this is all about, is the lighting. And we want to see what it's all about. So when the car's just running like that, and I haven't turned the headlights on or anything like that, when it's just in drive mode, cruising around the city during the daytime, this is the lights that are on right here. Let's see if we can kind of move in where things aren't so, uh, where you can actually see them a little better. Not sure why the camera's doing that, but as you can see there, which is really nice, you got your, uh, you got your projectors right there in the middle and those good looking LED lights that just accent that whole structure in there, which looks so nice. So I'm liking that a lot. So that's on driver and passenger side on your lighting there. Now let's move around, let's take a look at the back, let's see if there's any other lights on. I mean, again, there shouldn't be any other lights on right now other than those daytime running lights. That's correct, yeah. All right, now let's go ahead and cut on our headlights. And that button is right down here. As you can see, right there. So let's go ahead and 
do that. See now it's got auto, it's got the lights. We're gonna put on that first switch there on auto. But let's go ahead and move it over there to headlights. Let's see what, what all we have on now. So now I'm seeing it's a little bit different, right? You got this cool little, these two little LED lights right there. Let's see, here we go. As you can see, so those are on, right? Looking good, looking nice. I'm liking it a lot. I mean, to me, lighting's really important. It makes the car stand out more at nighttime when you're cruising. And now, you know, during the daytime, you got those other lights on, they're standing out as well. Our projectors are on right now, right there. There's a good shot of the headlights. And then that little LED bulb right there, if you can see that, there you go. And those two small little LEDs right there. Now you're wondering, okay, where's the rest of the lights, right? Well, let's go look in the back. See what we got going on back there. Because if the headlights look cool, you know your taillights got to look cool too, right? So let's have a look. Oh yeah, looking nice. What I like about it is that the headlights and the taillights still have the same kind of design to them, as you can see with how this kind of comes like that, just like in your headlight, which is great. You do got your uh, LED lights for your uh, license plate frame. Nice and bright, looks good. You know, one thing I love about LED lights is that you don't have to worry five years from now or three or however long about getting pulled over by a police officer saying, hey, uh, sir, I'm pulling you over because you got a brake light out or, or your tag light's out or something like that. LED lights just last so much longer. I mean, I don't know. They may go out at some point, but um, there's a little peace of mind there on that one. Let's go ahead and open up the trunk, see what kind of lighting we got back here. Pretty good. Now, not LED in the trunk, okay? That's why you're seeing this kind of dirty off colored white color back there there's where the bulb is right up under there but does light the trunk up pretty good for the most part right i wish manufacturers if they're going to do leds everywhere why not just go ahead and throw an led bulb in the trunk too right i mean get involved folks let me know in the comments what you think what you got going on what do you think about the cars lighting and stuff like that Feel free to comment and get engaged with me. That's why I'm doing this stuff. I'm learning from y'all, y'all learn from me. We're just having a big happy family on Charleston car videos. Okay, more lighting on the interior. You got these that light up here for your door locks, for your mirrors, for your windows right there. Interior's looking good. Let's, um, let's, see, let's see what the blinkers look like. So we're gonna come over here, cut those on. There we go. Let's take a look at that for a second. There's those. Now you're seeing those lights on an LED looking good on your mirror. And then that nice big LED light strip on the bottom is all lit up now. Looking really sweet. Now on your Audi R8, okay, because this LED lighting and these daytime LED headlights and all this kind of stuff, it all started with the Audi R8 many years ago. I was with the Audi dealership back then as a salesperson selling those vehicles when they first came out. What an amazing vehicle. But the nice thing about Audi is they were kind of the pioneers in this stuff with the LEDs and the you know the daytime running LED lights and all that kind of stuff and you know it makes the vehicle look good but at the same time they were the pioneers and that's why just about every car that's being made now has that kind of setup. So that's looking really sweet right there with the blinkers. And look how bright. I mean, it's lighting up the garage back there really well, isn't it? I mean, all oh, right, that's a lot of light. Let's take a look at our taillights. If you're enjoying the video right now, this night review, please subscribe. I'm the only YouTuber right now, or automotive YouTuber, that's actually doing night reviews. Everybody's doing stuff during the daytime. I mean, I do stuff during the daytime too. You'll see that on my channel. But when I get an opportunity to film at night, I'm all about it. I love it at nighttime. I'm a night kind of person. You know, a lot of us YouTubers and YouTube people in general, we're all up later in the night editing videos or doing whatever. And um, so nighttime is kind of a prime time for me. 
you know, the car dealerships are like, man, we need you in here in the morning and all that. That's just not my gig, guys. I mean, I'm up later at night editing videos and all that kind of thing, and uh, and I sleep in a little bit in the morning, and then I get back out there and I do what I got to do. Now, when school starts back up with the kids, that really screws me up because I'm having to adjust my entire life and schedule, you know, for the schools and stuff like that. But anyways, back to the subject. Look at the interior. Does that not look like a cockpit of a F1 jet pilot or something? I mean, look at all the lighting in there, all the buttons that are lighting up. That looks really sweet. All right, let's get inside. Let's take a look around. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything on the outside. Let me cut these blinkers off and have one more look. Do we have a puddle light under our mirror? No, we do not, okay? Usually your SUVs and trucks, more luxury line vehicles, will have your puddle lights. Um, you don't have that going on usually on smaller cars. Maybe you do on your exotic sports cars and stuff like that. I would hope they would have a puddle light down there for you. All right, let's take a look at the lighting on the inside. Um, the seats are comfortable. They really hold you in nicely. I mean, nice. They hold you in good. I like that. Um, the armrest, if you can see here, goes back and forward, which is great. Okay, when you're a little bit taller, got longer arms, that's nice to have. Or if you're shorter and your seat's up, that's why that slides up, so you can still be able to get your arm on there. Okay. So this is all looking good. Look at that. Fit and finish looks great inside the Golf R. Everything's just so... Looks so good, doesn't it? Man, nice and new, right? You got the stitching right there, looks good. All your gauges, let's close this door for a second. Come on. All right. Nice solid vehicle. I mean, you can really feel how solid this small car is when you close the door. So when you close the door, now those top lights up there have gone off. Let's just have a quick look around. What I want to show you right now is your backup camera because last night when I was leaving an event we were at, um, out in the country, I put the vehicle in reverse and I was like, wow, the clarity, I mean, the first off, that little camera, that's a good little camera. Um, I know it doesn't look maybe the clearest right there as in resolution and stuff, but from my eyes, it, it looks pretty good for a backup camera, that's nice. And uh, as you can see, it lights up back there where you're, um, uh, there must be a little LED light or something like that off the back. I'm not exactly sure, but there's gotta be some way it's being illuminated. But of course, it's the reverse lights, right? <laughs> yeah, but let's let's do a little check ourselves real quick and see if that really is the case. I just, I just want to know. All right. And uh, a lot of times I don't get to test the reverse lights because I'm by myself like I am right now. And I just don't get to test reverse lights because it's, it's hard to do it. But today I got my camera rig with me right here so I can put the camera down and get back in. Let's do this. All right. There's that. Now let's go. I'm going to run up to the car real quick, put it in reverse, and let's see what we got going on. There's your brake lights. See, now we're in reverse. All right, so you got to see that, brake lights and reverse lights. And um, I don't think there's a little LED light back there. I know those reverse lights are pretty bright though. Um, what well, is one thing that is really cool, and I know it's hard to see right now, but this little uh, Volkswagen logo that's right back there on the back hatch, that thing, I mean, it's cool. That's where the camera's at up under there. It just pops right open, you know, with a little electric motor. And um, that's how the camera comes out. All right, so that's your interior. Looks really sweet down there. I'm liking that. There's even some lighting right up under here, under there. So it kind of shines down on the floors. That's all looking good. Seats are looking good. And uh, in the back, for the back passengers, there is lights up on the roof up there. As you can see right there, shining down on these back seats. And um, another thing that I like that it has, it does, even for a small car, it's got rear air in the back to blow on the fan, the friends and the kids. Okay, so that's another great feature right there. They don't have any little blue lights back here or on the back, the back door. 
Now that would have been even more awesome if it had lights like it did on the front on the door panels and stuff. But hey, we don't get everything we want, do we? Not all the time. And sometimes I think car manufacturers are just trying to cut costs on cars and stuff like that. And that's kind of why they don't add every little light that's uh, in the back of this, in the front, things like that. Like we're talking about right now, this down here and this right here. Okay? All right, so that's your Golf R. Now let's, uh, real quickly, let's get back. I will tell you another thing that's kind of cool. Um, when, you're, uh, when you're going around a corner with the Golf R, and uh, maybe, I, maybe I can show you all this real quick going around the corner here. But when you're going around the corner on a Golf R, right here, it's lighting up this whole area right here. I'm noticing at nighttime, though, it will start to light up in this area here when you're going around a corner to the right or the left. So it knows with that steering wheel to go ahead and shed some light over here. I'm not exactly sure how it's doing that, but it is doing that, okay? And I'm trying to see, I'm assuming, I mean, that's just a reflector right there. And you got this here. I don't know exactly how it's doing that. I mean, I'm not, I don't think that projector bulb is actually moving itself over to shed light right there. I'm really not sure how it does that. And I don't see any lights down in the bottom down here. Yeah, there's no lights down there. So I'm not exactly sure how it does that, but it does do that going around corners. Here, before we go, I'm gonna turn the wheel on the car and let's see what happens. Let me put the camera out the window over here. All right, so we're right there. I'm turning the wheel. Look at that. See that? See how it did that? Isn't that cool? And then on the right side, let's see if we can take a look over there. On the right side, see how it's lighting up? Now it's off. Now it's on. Huh. That's cool. That really is cool. Sometimes it's just the little things like that that make the difference. Okay, all right, let's keep it right there. Right there, guys, look. That, you never know that light is right there. Look at this. There's a light right there in the middle. And now turn it the other way. Look at that. All right, that's fine, have fun. Be careful, you got your phone? was cool you'd never know that's over there see she's got it turned on over here right there let's see what it looks like going and pulling out of here what a sweet little rod there it goes 